Okay, it looks like we have a full day of adventure in front of us. We're going to Bisbee. Wait, I thought I thought we said we were going to Tombstone. No, Bisbee first. Come on, we we have to go to Tombstone. No, I thought we agreed on Bisbee. No, mm -mm. Okay, well, there's only one way to settle this. A shootout. I told you, we're going to Tombstone. Okay, I guess we're going to Tombstone. Lock your hands, boys. We're here for your guns. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, oh, oh. Worked up a little bit of an appetite in Tombstone today. You know, getting shot, seeing people get shot. Lots of people get shot, actually. Early dinner, so we can get a jump start on the day tomorrow. Possibly the coolest little desert mountain town you may have never heard of. Welcome to Bisbee. See the beach? <laughs> right up shrinking as the copper mine began expanding and it got smaller and smaller so we're actually on Erie Street right now which has been preserved and looks like you're walking down a street in the 1950s. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Probably real cheap. I, I think this is supposed to be 30 cents. Like, <laughs> all for it to be 30 cents a gallon again. Most of the street is purely for decoration. Right. However, I do hear that Frisbee Be Breakfast Club of the street has great huevos rancheros. Yeah, they tell you that that's pretty much the only place to eat breakfast around here, so. The Lavender Pit, which is actually why Bisbee even exists. This is where they did the copper mining, which gives Bisbee its nickname, the Copper City. As you can see, there are lots of beautiful colors that are created by this mine. One of them is lavender. However, that's not why they called it this. No, it's named after Harrison M. Lavender. Who was the general manager of Phelps Dodge Corporation, which was in charge of the mining that was going on here. This is an enormous hole in the ground. <laughs> Quite ominous. This is only stop number two of the day. I have no idea what my wife is doing, but it looks like she's geocaching. She is. You are, aren't you? I knew it. I knew it. I, she... You can either be with me or against me. I'll be fine. Oh my God. How did this happen? We were just taking pictures and all of a sudden she was like a hundred yards away from me like... I'm a multitasker. Looking around. I'm like, mm-hmm, I've seen this before. <laughs> Possibly the coolest little desert mountain town you may have never heard of. Welcome to Bisbee. See the bee? Right up there? <laughs> Looking around, I mean, you gotta admit, this is not what you think of when you think of Arizona terrain. No, not at all. Established in 1880, this is a copper mining town, and they actually stopped mining here in 1975. A little history lesson for you. After it closed, they ended up asking for help 
to bring in some tourism around here, they opened up the copper mines for tours. In fact, there is an ordinance, so you will only find local stores within Old Bisbee. That's really cool that they knew that. So Bisbee's about 25 miles south of Tombstone at 5,500 feet elevation, and it kind of reminds us of a lot of mountain towns that like we absolutely love. One of them, like Crescent Butte, Colorado, an old mining town. Asheville, North Carolina, super hippie, lots of breweries. We talk about it a lot, but Fredericksburg, Texas. Oh, one of my love. Julian, California, which we showed you last time we were in Yuma. I mean, if you can't tell, we like the mountain towns with a funky vibe. That's true. Shout out to a fellow full-time RV YouTube channel, Life with Beth and Court. We'll link them right here for you. They were actually here last fall, and we saw their pictures, and it's kind of the reason we wanted to come. And we are super glad we did. Yes. And now, it's time to go explode. Bisbee is chock full of stairs all over the place. They started off as mule paths, but then they created stairs for you to be able to go up and down and access the houses. Every year they actually hold the Great Bisbee 1000 stair climb. That's crazy, no thank you. Oh no, there's more. There's so many stairs. All right, Victoria's going all the way to the top, but. I tapped out halfway up. Got all the way to the top of those stairs. That was what, like 150 stairs? It's a lot. At the top, nothing but houses. All throughout the main downtown area, there's the stairs that come up to these houses up on the hills. I would hate to be the person that lives at the top of this thing. Oh my gosh. They must be in the best shape of anyone Honestly, ever. you gotta have killer cats. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria said, take me to the music. Well, as soon as we found our parking spot. It's right beside it. Yeah, dude's over here with his tip jar. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, CP. What's up? Yeah, brother. <laughs> Yo. So pretty. All right, Victoria, we are only like a couple of miles from your motherland, Mexico. Shall we get margaritas? Always. Let's go. I mean, it is Taco Tuesday. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. It's the Copper Man. Yeah, that's a monument dedicated to all the copper miners around here. You would look fresh in that Arizona jacket. I know. 189. Oh, nope, never mind. Time for Victoria to find some things she don't need. One thing I have to say I did not see on any list that I'm glad we popped into, Classic Rock Coacher. Pretty cool store. Now I did talk her out of that $190 jacket that she probably would have wore like twice. Come on, it was Maybe. an Arizona bomber jacket. It yeah, was so it cute. was dope, but like not worth $190. It's good yeah. buy. Very desert Arizona. -y. If you have any flower child or 60s, 70s vibes in you, I definitely suggest you check it out. Yeah, there was a young lady in there. I say young, but probably in her 60s that was like, just relive my childhood. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Yep, we need to soap up, girl. Ready? We're dirty. Like dirt. Yeah, that smells like That's dirt. dirt. <laughs> it definitely smells like dirt. This be soap and sundry. We have a thing for local and small soap shops. Now we just wanted to buy one bar of soap, but couldn't decide on a big one, so we ended up with three little ones of different kinds. That's called indecision, folks. Made it work. That. It's cute. Me? Yeah. I think it's cute. You're cute. That's pretty cool. It's fun. I didn't keep her away from clothes for too long because she just walked out of 
Redbone right here. The worst place I've ever been in my life. Slash the best place. I'm just kidding, I loved it. She bought like 10 things and spent like not that much money. <laughs> Honestly, she actually did really good. And including these sunglasses. Those are pretty dope. <laughs> Not only is like Bisbee like beautiful looking, but the people are really freaking cool here. The first night we were here, people gave us a lot of recommendations. One of them being Sergio, who works right here at this olive oil shop. And uh, we told him we'd go buy some olive oil. It's a lot of olive oil. So what's the best way to go about making an olive oil decision? Oh, oh actually yeah. piqued my interest. Yeah. Roasted mm. garlic. I ended up with sun-dried tomato, Parmesan garlic, olive oil. What, <laughs> what a oh mouthful. My God. But it, it looks so good. It tastes so good. You get to taste all of them. It's close right now. But one of the main reasons that we came here is for the bars. Specifically, Arizona's smallest bar, which is up these stairs right here. Room four bar, it literally has four bar seats. That's it. <laughs> Arizona's smallest bar. We got olive oil, did she tell you? Yeah, we just went and bought it. That copper city so ale is good. Well, that's cool. Do you see all those birds? Buzzards. Yeah, so many of them. This whole town full of buzzards. <laughs> We've worked up quite the appetite bouncing around Bisbee today. It's time for uh, dinner. You can pretty much get this whole town done in a day. Honestly though, if you want to take a little bit closer look, maybe do some of the tours, you could take a little more time. We said we were here for the bars. Not only is Bisbee home to Arizona's smallest bar, but also Arizona's longest operating bar, St. Elmo's since 1902. 1902, that's a pretty good run. Are you about to perform me a ditty for all the tips? Okay. <laughs> We're running a little short on time this morning for checking out of the RV park per usual. So I figured that I would pick up some breakfast while Thomas got the RV together and uh, where better to go than Bisbee Breakfast Club. Got the breakfast. Let's go. Would you look at this? It is taking everything inside me not to eat this flavor winter. It's right here. <laughs> All right, y'all, Bisbee Tombstone area. Our time here has officially come to an end. But before we go, you know what time it is. Project, Project RV, RV Campground, Campground Review. review. <laughs> so Desert Oasis Campground, $42 a night, full hookup, sewer, water, all the goods. Uh, not only that, but they do have the option for dry camping uh, as well as tent camping if you so desire. But we had the puppies, so we wanted to make sure we had full AC and weren't running generators. So that was our theory on this go around because we are in the middle of this Arizona Valley right now and it's hot. They do have internet. They do not suggest streaming on it, so we did not. We, we also had uh, full service uh, for AT&T and Verizon. They have a cute little clubhouse um, with restrooms. They got a piano, pool tables, uh, like a little bar area, laundry. It's really cute. It's, it's huge. It's only seven miles from downtown Bisbee, which is not bad. There's only one RV park that's closer and it does not have the same hookups or amenities. So. Yeah. They've also got a nature trail and super dog friendly around here. And you know what's really crazy that you wouldn't know during the day? There's a whole city in Mexico right over there and you can't even see it until it's dark outside and you see all the lights. It's got about 100,000 people, Agua Prieta. It's in the same exact valley. That's how close you are to the border of Mexico. We had a short amount of time here, so we didn't get to do everything we wanted to do, including the Queen Mind Tour, which everyone says is really awesome. Right. I'm so glad that we came here. It's definitely top five places that we've been to so far. A place that I could definitely see us visiting more. Or potentially spending permanent time. Who knows? It's that kind of town that that's how much we liked it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the end of our time at Bisbee. Wish we had more of it. Uh, love this place. But Victoria's got to work tomorrow. We've got six hours of RV drive time back to Yuma. So we hope you have a wonderful week. And we'll see you next Sunday.